I managed to find the Office of Creative Incubation since I am helping Roscoe find his research that he wants to take back with him. And I've enlisted Felix and Ellie to help me out on this specific quest as well. We did manage to kill a whole bunch of marauders along with other creatures, so I'm surprised that this place is pretty empty, but then again, nothing stays too quiet for long. Now, let me see how I'm able to get in. Initiating ocular measurement. Okay, um, show the scanner the preserved eye. Measurement complete. Ocular identification complete. Welcome, Clarence Mostly. Access granted. Welcome to the Office of Creative Incubation. That was easy. Wow, this place looks nice. Also quiet. A little too quiet. But based off of the amount of red triangles I see, I know for a fact there's a whole bunch of enemies. Yeah, it sounds about right. It really does sound... Correct. Just like capitalism, modern day America. Let me see here. Yeah, I'm stealing all of this. Who cares? Leave me alone. So there's the photograph right there, but I also see two of them here. Huh. Okay. Two for one special. Not bad. I'm taking everything as well, because why not? Don't judge me. So if one is upstairs, then where do I go to go upstairs? Wow, there's so much stuff I can take from here. Look at this. Look at all this whiskey and wine. And ammo. I'm definitely going to take some. If my work wife played this game, she would take all of the liquor. Okay, this is the kitchen area. I'll do that later. I just want to go upstairs at least. Or maybe there's some sort of an elevator. Uh, spacer's chosen. Lousiest team that ever did swing a toss ball stick. They really think Adrena time does all that. Okay, upstairs. Floor two. I wonder who came by here. I'm just curious because it must have been a major attack for all of the robots to just go berserk. Hole in the wall. Okay. Oh, who's that? I knew it. I knew it was the Marauders. I knew it had to have been them. I just like the way they scream when they get zapped to death. Can I not go here? Huh. Okay. Let me see. Oh, I'll take that. No, but... Oh, that door over there. Okay. Oh, I'll take that. I love scavenging for anything and everything. That's also how I play Skyrim as well. Wow. Their skulls clean in. Guess you get what you pay for with Spacer's Choice Guards, too. Yeah, this was definitely an attack. I don't think the Marauders were the ones to do this. Up. Oh, speaking of the devil, there's a couple of them. Um. Fuck it. Let's make some messes. Here we go. Oh, You're the best there ever 
sure was. Look at this. At this point, I'll have so much ammo, I won't even need to buy any more. This is fantastic. I love getting free stuff. And money. Any liquor? Because I know for a fact if there is. Up oh, right here. One for the missus. Free shit, I'll take that. Oh! Okay. Huh? That's your huh? Oh! Damn, Felix! Look at them! They're just sleeping around. I think we found a hot spot because there's so many of them over here. Oh shit! You know, this is my favorite gun out of all the other weapons in the game. You can never go wrong with a machine gun. Everyone all right? Yep. Peachy. Real peachy. Still haven't found any f photographs or wherever he wants me to find. Phonograph. Yeah, there you go. Let me see. Ah, uh, we found the first one. Can you imagine watching terror on Monarch in this place? Yep, that'll be nice. I assume you're trying new formulations on humans, correct? <sighs> Where do they come from, Dr. Ambrose? <clears throat> they come from Tartarus, don't they? They do. Why the reluctance? Providing life-affirming employment to the indigent, the criminal, the criminally indigent. Well, that's a social good, don't you agree? I have a staff meeting to attend. Excuse me. You know, something sinister was happening while Roscoe was doing his investigation. It makes sense as to why he had to hide all of his evidence, too. Totally makes sense. Hard to imagine people living here. I guess that's true of any company town, though. This sort of thing's happening all over the colony. Homes falling to pieces. People fall to pieces, too. Except they turn marauder. Yeah, after a while, you just go insane. From what I've been reading on the lore of how people become marauders. It's pretty sad, actually. Especially since on the last episode on how her hubby went insane and became one of those people. So the location of the second phonograph is in here so I'm pretty curious to see what else Roscoe was able to find oh, oh shit Not bad, huh? I'm just happy I have a machine gun you know if I didn't have this nice weapon on me I would have been dead that's it All right, this is it. This is the place. Hey, Dr. Ambrose, tell me about Adrena time. What does it do? Hasn't Clarence already dumped a pile of promotional materials on your head? Where's the fun in that? My listeners want to hear it in your own words. It's an injectable drug that improves a patient's speed, awareness, mental acuity, and endurance. In moderation, Adrena time will uplift the laboring classes by strengthening their minds and work ethic. That's quite the mission. What's driving this vision of uplift? I am a solutions-oriented woman. I see a problem and I am moved to solve it. Poverty is one such problem. Through science, I believe we can improve the poor. 
and in so doing, improve Halcyon. That is a weird way to try and help poor people, honestly. By putting in more drugs in them so they can work continuously without any type of need of break time. I don't know how I feel about that. And honestly, like I said, this little mission here is getting a little bit suspicious, honestly. Think about it. You design a drug to help with fatigue for the quote-unquote poor people, but there's more to it than that. Given you're reading this, I'm likely dead. I'm very sorry about that. I'm also sorry Spacer's Choice had to send someone else to finish my assignment. As of the moment I'm writing this, Charles Novak still possesses the express mail delivery prototype. I believe he's gone entirely mad as he has abandoned his apartment and taken up with a group of marauders not far from here. Charles no longer recognizes me. He can't even recognize the Spacer's Choice jingle. Really? That's important? Oh my god, bro. When I sang it for him to try to coax him into a calmer state, he shot me in the arm. I mean, can you blame him? If you're here to retrieve the prototype, here is what you should know. The prototype remains intact. The prototype has been modified to simultaneously fire multiple projectiles and the original package housing chamber appears to have been replaced with an explosive payload. Please know that I did not sanction these modifications, nor do I approve of setting fire to company correspondence. Charles' depravity knows no bounds. The original prototype was only intended to deliver packages more quickly, nothing more, and I'll sooner die than see it used for violence. To that end, I'm going to try to recover the prototype from Charles. Should I fail... Please remember me fondly, despite my incompetence. Faithfully, Diane Shu. You know, some of the plot lines and situations from Outer World is laughable to a certain extent because of the fact that even though this is a fictional game, some of the things I see and how companies treat their employers is not really too far-fetched. I can actually imagine America becoming a Halcyon-like nation. And honestly, by the way things are going, would you really be surprised if we actually become just like Halcyon? Not me. Hey Ellie, when was it that you realized the board was crushing the life out of this colony? What are you talking about? I'm talking about the board? The machine of oppression? Ain't that why you became a pirate? Because you wanted to be free and all? I'm just after a paycheck, kid. She is so unbothered. I love it. Halt, the passage is exclusive to members of the Secret Society of Super Science Sidekicks. Damn, that's a lot of S's. To gain access to this sacred sanctum, you must prove you are a true and worthy fan of the inimitable, inestimable, incomparable Ace Exterminator, Archibald Elixir. Interested? Find us at the following locations and demonstrate your worth. Oh, wow, that's cute. That is so cute. Oh, wait, what's this? Gorgon's gone to hell. No shit. And we don't expect it to come back. So the secret society of super science sidekicks whew, are shipping out while there's still ships to catch and we're leaving a replica PET behind. I can't say it's what we wanted. Not after all the shit we churred through to make it. But it's what our fearless leader, the immeasurable Archibald Elixir, would have asked of us. Now, if you're reading this, that means you're a salvager. Salvaging takes darling, grumption, and a dash of rank, reckless stupidity. Oh, whatever, you're just jealous. 
just the kind of qualities Archibald's been known to prize, and just the kind of person worthy of our PET. The best and only prototype pest extermination truncheon in all of Halcyon. If you want it, friend, it's yours. What you gotta do is pass our test and prove yourself a true fan of Archibald Elixir, Ace Exterminator. Wall speed and good luck. I'll do that quest later. Right now, I just want to find the photographs. And I think there's one around the corner somewhere. Right? I hope so. Never seen a corporation spend this much on a place only to let it rust. Except for Monarch and Scylla and Emerald Vale. Okay, I take it back. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Ellie. This is choice on a little outpost here. But no, they got the whole asteroid to themselves. How do you just buy a whole asteroid? Oh, come on, really? I like how we just ran into a group of marauders. Is there more? Woo! Everyone alright? No, I'm dizzy. I must have Permanent concussion? Having been hit in the head one too many times, you, your mental facilities have been permanently affected. I'm gonna reject this, because I don't want no concussion. Don't get me wrong, I like the concept on how if you're willing to take on a flaw, you get rewarded. But some of these flaws that they want me to take are trifling. So many goodies, a little time, and let me let me go inside. Hold on, let me let's go inside, find the third tape, and let me see. This is a human inquiry and auditing. Okay, let's go inside. What requires HIA passkey to unlock? Fuck me. This sucks. How would I even get said key? Maybe from here. Hold on. There has to be a way for me to get inside. This slow ass locking system. Nothing? I mean, cool for ammo, yay for liquor, but I want a key. Nothing? I just want a key. This sucks. How am I supposed to get in? How am I supposed to get in without a key? You know what? Let me see what where this goes. How are we supposed to get the photograph without the key? That's pretty annoying. Wow, look at all this stuff. Oh, what's this? Okay, cool. I just unlocked the gate, which is fine. But seriously, though, where the fuck would the key be? No key, no entry. I love how there's that one random person standing over there. Oh, man. I, I don't know what to do. I decided to do the nerd mission because of the fact that I went through the wiki and apparently I need to get the key from a certain NPC, which uh, it seems like I have to do one quest to finish the other one. Fucking annoying if you ask me. I hate when games do that, but whatever. This is a nice little place. 
much you want to bet she marked up her comic with sticky notes. Wow, okay. A comic from the cult classic Ace Exterminator series, tragically canceled after its brief four-issue run. Scribbled in felt tip on the comic spine is the word and. After pa pacifying the candid threat, rejuvenated hero Archibald Elixir is deployed to the subterranean metropolis of Hepa Tessis. I don't know if I, I'm saying this right. To quell the rise of super villainous Acapella, ban the Sprat Pack when a new foe arrives to stop him. Buff Hartman, a Crucian's agent of super dark reclamation, will stop at nothing to acquire Hepatis's mining's productive corporate enclave for his shadowy shipping concern. When Elixir interferes with Hardman's plans to mind control the Sprat Pack, Hardman turns his disaster mind control ray on Elixir. Will or misstep what? Mustacheoid? Hero free his mind from Hardman's power with his newly healed heart intact? Okay. I dig it. This is going to be a good comic book haunt. Okay, what's this? Birdie. Well, damn it, Birdie. What'd I tell you about pestering Maurice? He's not interested. If you scare him off the project, you're gone. I don't care if you're my kid's sister. We need his research. We don't need you. Got it? Good. Oh, damn. That's crazy. I took a look at the preliminary schedule you sent over. You got all the tasks tracked, but the timing's off. For one thing, you have me finishing the metal castings fabrication after the package is supposed to be complete. Find me at my workstation in the mines near OCI when you get off shift. I'll go over the rest of my criticism in person. By the marvelous mustache of Elixir, Jill. P.S. How long do we have to keep saying that? It's ridiculous. Clearly, Jill is not into the whole comic book thing, but her sister is. All right, so on to the next comic, I guess. Right after I get all these ammo, of course. Marauders. Just about every corner of Halcyon's infested with them. This reminds me of the punchline to a joke I heard once. What's the joke? You really not going to tell me the joke? What is this place? Abandoned mines. Okay. This is a place where This is like that scene from Terror on Monarch where Spencer Woolrich gets buried alive. Right behind you, Captain. Promise. Wait a minute, Ellie. Are you actually afraid? What? I would not expect that from you. Perverti, yeah, but not you. Oh, okay. So we have a whole bunch of these uh, things here. You want some of this? Damn. Cool. Nice. So they should be... The clue should be around here somewhere, right? I definitely gotta improve Ellie's gun because she should be able to kill them with her ultimate. So it's right in here. Okay. Somehow, this is exactly the kind of place I'd picture a comic stash. Okay, so this is this is number two of four. 
A comic from the cult classic Ace Exterminator series, tragically canceled after its brief four-issue run, scribbled in felt tip on the comic's spine is the word friend. After his run-in with the Dancing Queen, proven hero Archibald Elixir is mending his broken heart in the glitzy city of Fairview when a horde of vicious crystal canids escapes from the laboratory of an evil, unemployed scientist. As the canids turn the city to ash with their plasma beam eyes, Elixir descends into the depths of the lab to put down the leader of the pack, King Alpha. The king conneaves to sabotage Elixir's trusty PET, and our hero is forced to fight with the only weapon in reach. The skull of King Alpha's own mother, Empress Crystalline Alpha. Will our mustacheoid hero escape the king's jaws and heal his wounded heart? Virgil, making progress on the grave planning for the package, though not nearly as fast as you like. Given the spin rate of Gorgon, the anomaly I've been observing is only present in the sky three hours out of every 24. Doesn't help that I have to readjust my telescope every couple minutes to keep tabs on the slippery bastard. Come at my workstation outside the manufacturing dome when you've got a minute. The data this thing is throwing off is as strange as all get out. Be ashamed to compromise the package with a misplaced zero, right? By the way, I checked on Eastash, right? The fumes aren't doing him any favors. We have to get him out there as soon as we can. How's your sister coming with the schedule? By the marvelous mustache of Elixir, Maurice. P.S. You got to tell Bertie to stop bringing me food. If I have to eat another damn can of Saltuna fillets, I'm going to hurt. All right, that's cute. They're definitely a nice little group of nerds, if I do say so myself. And we got two left, so let's head on out. Thank you for watching this episode. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week. <laughs>